So that's kind of been that uh, that platform. That's all new to us. Again, I mean, as you can tell, I mean, we're still working out the bugs. Uh, a to get it compatible, and B to you know get it fully working. Um, you know, the the one thing that just came up this week is uh, daylight savings time. Uh, you know, our none of the software with the times for our games changed. So even our game this weekend is seven thirty. On the app, it shows up at six thirty. So it's a matter of now we got to fix this because daylight savings time it didn't didn't adjust for us. So whatever the feed we pulled from didn't have that built in. So yeah, it's kind of you, you, you learn as you go. Thanks. Um, any questions on social media? What we're doing? Um, iPhone apps, all that good stuff. Uh, we'll get a little bit into uh, in market points. We've got to what, 25? Yeah. We've got 20 minutes. Good. Um, three of our key partners, all different ways, some of them a little more complex than others, to, uh, to kind of do some things and engage our fans a little bit. Um, we'll jump into Pepsi. They did a promotion with Rudder. They weren't doing anything when I got there. Um, so we were excited to see that. And then some, some additional benefits that Pepsi is able to give us in market. McDonald's, about as simple and easy of a, 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 a partner activation as you'll ever find. And then Reese is a little bit more integrated uh, partner activation and also some solutions uh, for us in some sections that weren't selling quite as well. Um, Pepsi, uh, what we did with them is we did a January promotion that was uh, in all runner stores. Uh, and how this really worked is basically um, we went to Pepsi and said, hey, we'd love to do something with you. Here's kind of what we can offer. Um, we can offer autographed bears items. We can offer locker room tours, things you can't buy. And they said, well, we can offer. Obviously, we have a suite, so we can offer some tickets in our suite. And, then, and we started talking more about, all right, well, we can offer um, you know, some tickets for the promotions and things like that, you know, some, some elements there to help hopefully drive people to enter. Um, why this promotion works for everybody is, um, now all of a sudden the Hershey Bears logo is in every Rudders in central Pennsylvania. Why it works for Pepsi, Pepsi was able to take something to Rudders that Coke couldn't um, because of their relationship with us. Coke can't, come, can't go to Rudders and say, we'll give you a locker room tour, we'll give you an autograph session, we'll give you all these other things. So um, Pepsi takes that to Rudders. Their reasoning behind it is obviously they want to get better space at the Rudders convenience stores. So they might say to them, all right, we've got this great promotion for you, but what we want in return is we, you know, we want some end cap, end, end cap space, we want something a little close to uh, the counter, something closer to the point of sale. Uh, or we want the, um, you know, when you walk in the Rudder store, we want the first fridge that you get to to be Pepsi products and Coke to be down there. So that hurt people have to make a conscious decision to walk all the way over to Coke. Um, so Pepsi, by doing this promotion, gets that out of Rudders, where they get some better space in the Rudders itself. Rudders, what they're hopefully getting is they're hopefully, um, as they're promoting this promotion, uh, they're hopefully getting some people to come into their store that may not have. Some Bears fans that may say, you know what, I'd, I'd love to get a locker room tour. I'd love to get some autograph stuff. So, you know what, I'll go to Rudders instead of going to the uh, A-plus store down the road. Um, and I'll, I'll sign up for a chance to win, uh, you know, to win this promotion. So, hopefully Rudders is getting some incremental sales out of it, um, out of this whole deal. And again, for me, all of a sudden, my Hershey Bears logo uh, is, is all over uh, all the Rudder stores in central Pennsylvania. So it really is an opportunity for Pepsi to get uh, enhancement in shelf space, Rudders to hopefully get some incremental sales, and, and us to get our, our logo out there. Um, Why did you choose Rudders as opposed to Turkey Hill? You know, we went, um, we went to Giant first because we were, we were actually obligated um, through our relationship to go to, to, to Giant first. They turned it down, so at that point, they said you can get anyone you want. Um, Pepsi was the one who chose Rudders. I think that um, Rudders seems to be growing quite a bit in this area, so I think that um, Pepsi saw an opportunity to take something to that vendor that is you know, growing in this area and maybe to help build that relationship with them. So a lot of times the vendor will take a look at, um, all right, well, what place do we need to build a relationship with and, and go there. Now, obviously, with our giant relationship, we wouldn't, we could not go to Wegmans, we couldn't go to Wise, we couldn't go to any of these other grocery stores, but they were okay kind of with the convenience store um, piece of it. Their, their agreement with us does lock out convenience stores, but since we went to them first and they said no, and then we asked, well, we really want to do this, they said that it's fine, then we go with them. 
the piece of it that was a little interesting is a lot of times you would bring this in game as well, so you'd bring this in arena, like rudders would have some presence in the arena. The giant relationship did lock them out of that. So even though their promotional winners were in there, there was no rudder signage there for that evening. There was they, you know, none of those elements. So we could only do everything we did was on Facebook, on Twitter, on the website, and um, uh, kind of at the rudder's locations itself. Uh, but we couldn't do anything actually in the arena because of our giant relationship. Um, and again, this is kind of the way promotions are going. The days of just giving away some tickets are done. It's all right, well, what can we give away that people can't win? And for, you know, for diehard Hershey Bears hockey fans to be able to go down uh, into the locker room is huge. Uh, pretty awesome opportunity. And then obviously we gave away an autograph stick for that as well. Um, also, what they did with this promotion is they actually used um, Rudder's Twitter page, um, and they, they sent out uh, a tweet to all of their followers to, to um, use a special code, and they would get a buy one, get one um, free ticket opportunity to, uh, uh, to the Hershey Bears game. I think it was actually March 6th was the game that we offered that, uh, we offered that up. And their hope there was obviously that that would get kind of, if there was a Bears fan in there, that they that Bears fan would retweet it out to all of their friends, and then that person sends it out, just hopefully it would catch on. I think it worked a little bit. I don't, I don't know how great it worked. So I think it's one of those ones. I'm just going to keep trying and see if we can kind of write the right mixes there for, uh, for that piece of it. Um, this element isn't a promotion at all. Essentially, on the back of Pepsi trucks, they have um, uh, you know a, a space that normally just says Pepsi. But they'll offer it out to kind of some of their key partners to, um, to allow them some advertising space on their truck back. So that's a great relationship owner for us. They just say, hey, give us a design. We'll print it out. We'll put that on the back of the truck. So, um, uh, you know, Andrew Gordon's uh, driving around town with all the Pepsi trucks, giving them uh, our, uh, our phone number and our website. Uh, the one piece of it that you'll notice with our website is we always put 2327 there now. Uh, you know, again, in the 80s and 90s, it was, uh, it was the hip thing to do to, to get all these uh, uh, vanity phone numbers. So 508 Bear was our phone number. But with the development and increased use of the BlackBerry, if you go to type in 508 Bear, you don't get the phone number that you get that we want you to get anymore. So we had to put the digits there so BlackBerry users could understand that, all right, you got to punch in 2327 because Bear doesn't work anymore if you're a BlackBerry user. So that was one of those things that, um, you know, again, just you don't think of it, but you know, one day someone's driving by, tries to call the number, and it's not match up at all. So um, I don't think that the uh, vanity and its phone numbers would be uh, kind of in vogue that much longer, just uh, as long as the Blackberry grows. Uh, McDonald's again doesn't get any easier than this, but drive some drive some tickets for us. Um, essentially, all it was was the the tray liner at McDonald's. This is actually two years ago, um, so from. The 8th to the 22nd, uh, all the trail liners, all the central Pennsylvania McDonald's uh, went from whatever's normally on there to the bear schedule, which is big for us, uh, and then into a $2 off coupon. The reason McDonald's was interested in doing this is all of a sudden, not only did the person get a big amount of fry and soda, but now they've got the uh, opportunity to save $2 on the Hershey Bears ticket. Uh, what's great about that for me is I'm not giving tickets away, uh, so we have limited inventory, but we were able to limit kind of the games that they could come to. So it's a Sunday night game, we're going to have some inventory anyway, and why not give it a $2 off offer, uh, and hopefully that will drive them to come to the game. So hopefully it leaves the incremental sales, sales for us. McDonald's like it, likes it because they're offering customers at McDonald's something that RVs, Wendy's, and all the other folks weren't offering at that time. Uh, and then the Reese's, it's all about the cup sections. Uh, essentially, uh, two sections in the run. There's really four sections. Anytime you want to go to a sporting event and see if they really sold tickets, just look at the corners. If the corners are empty, they sold tickets, but they're probably not doing great. If the corners are full, they sold tickets. Um, and these, this is one of our corners, is 210, 211. Um, we just, we've always struggled to sell some tickets up there. It's, um, it's just not a bad view in that place, but it's probably the worst view that you could have of the hockey game um, for most sections. Uh, those tickets are normally $16.50. What we do is on Fridays and Sundays, we sell them for only $10. With that $10 ticket, you also get uh, a Reese's It's All About the Cup t-shirt. What worked out great for us is uh, It's All About the Cup happened to be Reese's campaign for their, for their NASCAR marketing. But it was such a nice tie-in because of the Palmer Cup. So it was such a nice tie-in for us to It's All About the, the, the 
cup and tie that into the Kohler cup. So what the shirt has on it is obviously on the front it's got the Grease and Salt Dr. Cup logo. And on the back it's got uh, now our 11 Kohler Cup championship years on the back of it. Um, so it helps us drive tickets into those sections. Um, so when you look at the corners on a Friday or Sunday, you'll see some more people have bought tickets in those sections. Obviously, the ticket's cheaper, it's ten dollars, but um, you know, hopefully they're they're enjoying the t-shirt as well. The nice thing for Reese's is these two signs didn't exist before, so they're huge brand new pieces at the uh, at the venue. And also we do see a lot of people coming back to other games with the Reese's it's all about the t shirts. So Reese's is just getting a ton of branding, um, you know, kind of out of the whole out of the whole deal as well. Um, again, for us, selling a ten dollar ticket is, is better than selling than not selling a ticket at all. So uh, that's, a big, that's a big piece of it for us as well. Uh, it's really kind of a quick overview, uh, quick overview of uh, social media, partners, and all that, all that good stuff. Anybody, anybody have any questions on anything, whether it's Bears hockey or concerts or Facebook or Twitter? Do you guys use Facebook and Twitter to advertise about the other ones? Like, do you say follow us on any Facebook page? Do you guys ever say follow us on Twitter? Um, we haven't done it for a long time. Try to interact with the other medias? Yeah, we, we haven't for a long time, but we are definitely going to start to do a little bit more of that. Um, and then we, we'll do a lot in game where we've got our announcements that used to just be for our website. Now it's for Facebook and Twitter and YouTube um, and the website as well. Um, we were touting, you know, we were talking a little bit about our, about our iPhone app in game too. Um, we haven't done a ton of that. Again, just obviously there's so many bugs, we're still working out with that. Um, you know, it's. We're glad that it's there and we want people to use it. It seems that people who have used it have been pretty happy with it, even though there's there's, um, there's some information in there that would still need. We don't have live scores in there. That's obviously something that we need. Um, but uh, you know, those are kind of the ways that we've used that. And then if, uh, the other way we've kind of promoted our Facebook and uh, Twitter pieces are It's tagging all of our e blast but also um, yeah. at the bottom you can link into you can link into, into, into any one of them that will jump right right over to our Twitter page uh, from there as well. So that's been that's been a big way for us uh, uh, to kind of launch that as well. Did you get to work with uh, you guys get any sponsor for the, the bet, John? Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. We, uh, we definitely worked with, uh, we worked with partnership a lot on the, kind of pulling that whole, that whole deal together. Um, and then they were a partner that, um, you know, it was unique. We haven't had, um, you know, a vet hospital calls you up and says, we want to do something. They say, well, all right, well, how are we really going to help you? But uh, they're the official vet of Coco Bear, um, so there's that piece of it. Um, but one thing that I think will keep them coming back as a partner is a couple weeks ago we did, um, um, you know, a promotional night where we encouraged our fans to bring out uh, uh, dog food, cat food, and donations for castaway critters. Um, they ended up, I think, taking five van loads of you know, food, dog food, blankets, all that good stuff uh, out with them, and then I think there was like a thousand dollars or so that uh, was donated. So um, that's a huge night for that castaway critters program. So for for us, it's great for us to be able to do that as a community partner. And in the end of it, but it's also nice in that um, it was very important for the partner who was tied into this organization to now. I, I would say there's a pretty good chance they'd be looking to do something with this again just because of that promotional event itself. Yeah, we, we definitely uh, work with them quite a bit. I know John, that's what I just said. Yeah, yeah. Man, it was, it was honestly, he, ended up, he called me first, and I thought it was more promotional thing, so we talked a little bit, and after we talked, I was like, like looking to buy stuff, so yeah. like I got our partnership team involved, and um, that's kind of how we pull all that stuff together. They've been they've been great with us. They also sponsor our scratches at the beginning, so um, we do that as well. But it was a nice integrated community piece that we were able to do with that. That's the best way for you guys to attack your recovery market, stay local. Oh yeah, or, yeah. Um, that's really uh, all of our partners. You know, all of the, all of our partners, pretty much all of our promotional product suppliers, everything we do, we try to stay local. Um, you know, there, there's there's promotional companies that are pitching us every day, whether it's from Chicago or you know Miami or wherever it might be. But um, we've kind of found four vendors here in Central Pennsylvania. We'd rather just for us to keep the money here.